A ground ball finds the seam and into center field it goes as Ella Parker continues to contribute her 26th RBI of the year and the Sooners are on top again. Alyssa Brito steps into the right-hand batter's box. 0 for 1 with a run yesterday as Parker will take second, her second stolen base of the series. And on a throw from Kreitz that hits her shoe, Ella Parker will chase this. Swing in. A massive strikeout for Wright. And there's two down here in the top of the first. Get down the middle to get a strike call. So go rise ball, and it's lifted out to left for a single. And that was just a matter of time with Texas Tech getting squeezed by the umpire. Oklahoma will take a 2 0 lead as Sanders pops one out to left. Ringle worked the walk. So an inning that looked to be over with a couple strike throws. Our batting average rise to 380 as she swings at the first pitch, lifts one out to Elder in right. And Maddie Wright had to throw a couple extra pitches, but gets through the side as Oklahoma leads 2-0 into the bottom of the first. For Craig Snyder's crew hitting over 300. Another changeup has Nicole May's 44th strikeout of the season. And in fact, the catastrophe of the strike zone in the top of the first. 2-2 Two -two pitch and Villa goes down on strikes. Just an absolute dandy of a drop. And Nicole May has two quick strikes. And Love will work a two out walk here in the first. The Red Raiders need just one big swing here from Kaylee Wyckoff to White. Love over at first base here with two outs in the first. And the 2-2 two -two to Wyckoff is squibbed back to May. He fires over to Sanders to send us to the second with a couple strikeouts. Nicole May easing in to this final Big 12 regular season meeting between Oklahoma and a run in an RBI. So she has walked six times this weekend and that will make it seven. This will be a tough play. Jennings has to hurry and does so as the freshman throws out the senior. And it works like a bunt. The first out here in the second. As Jada Coleman comes to the plate. She smashes one to left. And it's caught! Via collides with the wall. And a hustle play by Ludlam to get back to second. A one, sky to center. Holloman is there, and it is a shutdown inning for Wright as Texas Tech's defense shines behind Villa's leaping grab, taking us to the bottom of the second. On a rally starter on Friday, an elder will slap one right into the waiting glove of Sanders, who taps the bag for out number one. Sanders have been steals with three. Strokes it off the glove of Torres for a single here with one out in the second in Texas Tech's first hit. First pitch swinging, Kennedy Kreitz skies one out of play. Two, two squibbed over to third. Frito is there and another clean inning for Nicole May. Sends us to the third. I'm not sure. Oh! Christina Drum, the first base umpire, is confident and will not allow a review. Low roller over to first. Gonna have to hustle, and Barnhart able to stomp the bag just in time for out number one. And that was a near mirror image of yesterday. One of the good ones that you can root for no matter what side you're on. As Brito lifts one lazily out to center that dies at the warning track for Halliman. Out number two. Tell me the.
Prize ball, skied out to center where Holloman waits. And one, two, three, four goes the Sooner. Holloman, Barnhart, Villa. A slow roller here on a swinging bunt. Tough play for Brito, but she'll make it with ease to grab the speedy freshman for out number one. In 13 innings, just one walk. Now two for May, with one today. And ooh, Barnhart gets caught right in the funny bone. Is Chastity Reigns, who is honored today. In fact, the first Chastity 200 Rains. fans got a Reigns. As Ariana Villa takes high. And dribbles one in that 3 4 hole. Tough play. Villa goes head first and is safe. An infield single for Villa. Sparks momentum for Texas Tech here in the bottom of the third. into the 5-6 hole. Station to station goes Reigns, and Texas Tech has the bases loaded. Another slow roller. This is Bobble though, it's short, and everybody's safe as Jennings throws home. And Villa is out trying to score from second. Elder rolls over to one to Torres. So Texas Tech gets one back, but their base running costs them. There we have it. Just went up the middle, right, let it go, thinking there was a defender behind her, but no one in the vicinity as Torres leads off the fourth with a base knock. Pop up into center. You see that flag in center is not moving much, so Halliman with very little trouble on a few of these fly balls. We have seen the wind act up here at the Rock. Good job by our cameraman. On a hit and run, take that two run edge. And Boone slapped into center, up and up for Howman, whose speed can catch up for out number two. Hodge will look to tag and again, using her speed to go from first to third. He pitch, two outs in the fourth. And Coleman laces one to left. Villa is there. Wright puts together a third scoreless inning. And the Red Raiders with all the momentum. Set innings, no runs. The one two pitch is driven out into the glove of the waiting Hodge. And isn't that just how the sport works? You come off the bench, the ball finds you. It comes to the plate. Oracle swing at the first pitch. It squeaks under the glove of Brito. And a one out error. The board had E up there, but they have since reversed it. And a weak roller out to Hodge. Oh, we have a collision. And this will most likely lead to a Texas Tech out, as they're my knowledge is of the book. As the payoff delivery. Driven off the body of May and everybody's safe. And Holloman is able to send it to the top of the lineup. 2-2, Two -two, down on strikes. Nicole May works out of a jam. And Oklahoma will send the meat of their lineup to the plate. Top of the fifth in a one-run ball game. As T.R.A. Jennings swings at the first pitch from Maddie Wright. Gets one out to Elder for a quick and much, much needed out number one. Hold one out to second. Tremendous play, but Jennings can't make the throw. Parker runs into McClarity, and you saw the arm of the umpire is going to be interference anyways. Crack. Unbelievable crack of the bat there. The sound effects tells the story of Brito's eighth home run. Did the ball break or what? What a swing from Brito. And it's 4-1 Oklahoma. And a pop up handled by McClarity for out number two. A 
Change up, freezes Pickering, and sends us to the bottom of the fifth. And she'll take a rip. Deep right center. Coleman will grab it just shy of the wall. And that close to bringing this one back to a one-run ball game. Down ball over to Sanders, and we are off to the sixth. OU, a three-run lead here in the series finale in the final Big 12 regular season meeting of these two sides. She will slap this out to left for a leadoff single. If Oakland... Lilio chops one to short. Quick trigger over to first. What a throw by Oric for the out. Host UCF here in two weekends, starting on Thursday as the infield was drawn in a bit with the slap hitting Boone and she'll find center field with an RBI single. Oklahoma has continued to show their versatility. Runners on the move, a bit of a pitch out and a great pickup by Oric, but the throw a little up on that shortstop side. So a five-pitch walk puts Coleman on. One double away from setting the record. This will not do it, though. Double play chance, but a little late there was Jennings, and she'll grab it for the fielder's choice. Two outs now. Throws her down at the knees. And Kreitz didn't realize it, but that'll end the inning. After scoring two in the first, uh, Jennings with a swinging bunt into no man's land, but the quick trigger by May is beautiful. Wow. And on a one two pitch, Oric goes around, and May picks up her sixth strikeout. And a reminder that with the win today, right, lifted into right center and it falls and gets by Coleman. Kreitz will run into second base safely with a two out double. Out in the other way, what a grab! Brito again! Dazzles with her second web gem of the weekend. They're almost always due up that next half inning as Brito leads things off with a bash. Long gone. First the web gem, then her second home run of this afternoon and Oklahoma's lead is five. Full count, walk. But Sanders on with nobody out here in the seventh. Pitch in the zone, runner takes second, and she is caught stealing. Land is thrown out on a BB from Kreitz. One ball out to second. Jennings stays down on it and fires to first for the second out. Right walks her on four pitches. And Ludlum celebrates. He didn't have to swing the bat. The two pitch driven fair down the first baseline. Hodge comes in. A rolling throw is unable to stop Ludlum, and Oklahoma gets to eight here in the seventh. Five pitch walk for the second straight inning for Jada Coleman. And the walk totals have been, now the payoff pitch from Keel. 
It's driven to center. Jennings clears the bases. Her 10th home run of the season. And Oklahoma puts up a crooked number for the first time today. The second walk allowed by Keel. Puts Parker on and brings Brito back to the plate. Last came at Long Beach State back in February. And Brito rolls over to one and it gets by Love into left field for a base hit. Can Keel find the pitch? 2-2 Two -two popped in the infield and she will get out of this inning. Oklahoma does score six though. Tex last up some weak outs. As Keeney, the Kentucky native, creates a pop up from McClarity on the first pitch and it's snagged by the racing glove of Boone out in right. Take strike three, and Keeney's one out away. And there it is, called strike three, ends this one as Oklahoma moves to 6-0 in the conference. <laughs>